Hi, my name is Rick Wyckoff. You can check out our website at avatartattoo.com. I'm here on behalf of expertvillage.com talking about different kinds of jewelry to get pierced with. This is a stainless steel barbell with acrylic balls on it. Really, for fresh piercing, acrylic isn't an appropriate substance because autoclaving it, for one thing, breaks down the plastic, but also uh, people's body chemistry tends to be a little bit on the acidic side and does break down the acrylic, often causing a toxic reaction. Um, other substances like niobium and titanium that have uh, some sort of uh, coloring to it or an anodization, a lot of times people's body chemistry will break down the anodization too and it could potentially cause a chemical reaction, although non-anodized titanium and niobium have proven to be uh, proven to be very safe. Substances like organics should never be used in a, an initial piercing simply because they can't be properly autoclaved. Also there are they are porous and might contain microorganisms that could infest a piercing initially. Another uh, recent uh, development in the piercing is uh, silicone. This is a silicone plug. It's uh, a pliable. It's basically like a little piece of rubber that's commonly uh, used sometimes for large gauge initial piercings or for stretching piercings. Um, the downside of it, even though it can be autoclaved, is that it is semi-porous so it could harbor bacteria that could end up infesting a piercing. Also, it really doesn't apply a lot of, uh, a lot of pressure to the interior of the piercing, of a fresh piercing, so um, prolonged uh, bleeding could, could occur if you're using a, a silicone for an initial piercing.